Natural landscapes, winding forest trails, and fresh air. This is the arena for Radio Orienteering. Radio Orienteering is an energetic and adventurous, yet intellectual sport. It requires physical endurance aligned with a sharp mind. The goal is to find foxes hidden in the forest as fast as possible by using a radio receiver, a compass, and a map. The sport is also known as radio fox hunting. Just like on a real hunt, you feel the thrill and anticipation of closing in on your goal. Though the fox is not a fluffy red animal, the fox is a radio transmitter that sends out a signal. The fox hunter does not have a rifle. He is equipped with a special radio receiver. By operating the receiver, the hunter is guided to where the fox is hiding. Though, like a real fox, these transmitters are sly, and finding them requires some skill on the part of the hunter. Calculating your strategy begins as soon as you receive your map, on which only the starting and finishing points are marked. You can immediately get a sense of the terrain and map out your route by predicting where the foxes may be hiding. This is it. The chess match has begun. The first fox sends out a signal. The second. The third. Where to begin? A skillfully planned route may be the difference between failure and success. Each hunter is in search of his goal, the fox. It's hidden where the signal direction is the loudest and amplifies even more as you approach it. Sounds easy? Not so fast. There is more than just one fox. Each fox sends out its own unique signal alternately. Two different bands are used to transmit signals. Each of the two bands is used during the competition. It is for this reason that the receivers and their antenna have different constructions. So as not to rush randomly through the forest and lose valuable time, you must estimate the proximity of each of the foxes by measuring their signal strengths and strategize an order and a route in which to hunt them down. Your every action is like the next move in a chess match. Here is the hideout of the first fox, a point marked on the hunter's route. This marker, or control point, is represented by an orange and white flag. The radio transmitter is hidden here. The hunter quickly registers his capture and runs off to the next fox. Radio fox hunting has become a spectator sport. Satellite tracking allows spectators to watch competitions in real time online. Blips on the map demonstrate the location of each participant and the direction they are moving in. Spectators can watch the competition online and cheer for their runner from anywhere in the world. On classical routes, youngsters and senior citizens hunt only three foxes. Women hunt four, and men hunt five. In radio fox hunting, running the fastest does not guarantee victory. You also have to be savvy with your strategy. Recently, new competition formats have been introduced. The sprint and fox soaring. At last, the home stretch, the final and most decisive flag. Here is where physical training may make the difference. The first seconds after crossing the finish line are most emotional. Everything was really great. I just want to see how my calculations measured up against the distance between the foxes. I lost my way and I lost a lot of time on the last fox. The terrain was uneven and I missed one of the foxes, which meant that I had to turn around and run back uphill. The course was quite easy, but running with a broken receiver made it more difficult. I made a mistake in the route that I chose. All my life I ran classical distances, but sprint, this is something new for me. Excellent! I want to do it again! Here we have a future fox hunter. 
I'm constantly thinking as I'm running. This sport is a chess match on the run. Radio orienteering is an international sport. The first competitions were held in Sweden over half a century ago. Today, competitions are held in many countries all across the world. The popularity of international competitions increases each year. Amateurs compete alongside experienced runners. The main international events of radio orienteering are the Championship of Europe, the World Championship, and the Youth Championship. The 17th World Championship was hosted by Kazakhstan. Around 300 competitors from 25 countries came together in the beautiful pine forests of the Burabai National Park. The last days of the World Championship. The sprint and fox soaring competitions. Just seconds after the finish, each runner is handed the results on control cards. Near the finish line, monitors display the results of those runners who have finished, as well as those runners who are still competing. Of course, results are important, as is the friendship and the sportsmanship among competitors. During these emotional moments, even common languages are useless to communicate the feelings they share with each other. Medalists from different countries take their places on pedestals while the national anthem of the gold medal winner plays. Radio orienteering is not just a sport, it is an immersion in nature and a break away from the hustle and bustle of city living. It is an opportunity to travel the world, see new sights, and make new friends. Simply put, radio fox hunting is a fun and exciting time.